what a ride 2022 has been. <laughs> it's time to prepare for 2023 and in the bookish world that means looking at my goals for all things reading and for me a little bit of content creating. Hey folks, it's Abby from Abby of Eleanor and this hat is itching my head. We're going to be looking at what I plan to do in 2023 for my reading. I know that a lot of people think very hard about their 2023 and next year goals and they go ham and they have all of these difficult and really interesting tasks to see how they fare. I will not be doing that <laughs> because these past few months I've really not been reading. So I wanted to be kind on myself for 2023. Let's I was going to say spin you around, but we're going over there uh, and see what these goals actually are. My bookish goals. The first main goal I have is the amount of books that I want to read this year. And I am keeping this very low. As of filming, I haven't read a book <laughs> in about a month, but I've read 116 books this year. And I'm sure that will go up by the time I finish 2022 because I am reading at least one book. However, massive reading slump these past couple of months. So I am only aiming for 50 books. For some people that would still be a lot. For me, obviously, it's not. It's less than half of what I read this year. But I want to try and stick to that if I can. I don't want to read more books for the sake of it. I want to take my time with my books. I don't want to feel as rushed. I have been getting caught, caught up again in the booktube hype of reading everything, reading everything, reading everything. And I need to slow down and enjoy reading again. And once I do, maybe my reading speed will pick back up and I'll start reading loads again. But at the minute, it's just too much. So, 50 books. If I shoot over it, okay. If I get under it, okay. But that is my aim. I'm going to aim for 50 books. Now, for some of those books. So I'm actually going to be taking part in a few different book clubs in 2023. And one of them is the spiritual successor to the dead famous Rigong, where we read the Skullduggery Pleasant books. And we are going to be reading The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. So this box set here is all five books written by Douglas Adams, and then this is the sixth book written by Owen Colfer. And we are going to be reading these one a month, so we're starting in February, starting in January, and the first live show is in February. It is most of the dead famous crew, so I will have them all tagged down below so you can go and follow their different accounts so you can keep up to date with this. But I'm really looking forward to it. These are a lot shorter than the Skullduggery books, so even though Skullduggery was a reread for me, this will probably be a lot faster for me to get through and will also mean, you know, it's nice and short, I can just get into it. So it means I get the book read each month. Nice. So yes, I'll be getting through these and this one is actually not technically on my TBR. It's on my TBR but it's not on my TBR shelves uh, because I am stealing this edition from my boyfriend. This is his. This is the only Hitchhiker book he owns. Worked out surprisingly well. On a tangential link for books that I'm going to be reading but also subscription boxes. Book subscription boxes. I have unsubscribed from Illumicrate. I couldn't be asked with them anymore. Their customer service has been interesting as of late. There's been a few TikToks and things that I've seen um, of how they've dealt with people who weren't happy about the printing issue. So that and then the quality control on the books has went down. And the most important thing for me personally was that whilst I have really enjoyed some of their books, I am not reading YA anymore and even the adult books that they're picking feel quite YA. The one major standout has been Babel. That has been the book, but that was always going to be the book. Um, so yes, they're gone. However, Goldsboro's still here. Of course Goldsboro's still here. So I will still be trying to read my one Goldsboro book every single month. I have dropped off on that recently. I'm looking at the fact that there are two Goldsboro books stacked in my pile right there and I've not read either of them. I don't know what's going to happen with them. I might just kind of give myself a pass on them and just add them to my general TBR just so I don't stress myself out. But with my monthly Goldsboro books, I want to continue doing what I did last year of reading them the month after they come in. That way I keep on top of them. I'm reading new releases which is always fun because I'm usually reading a lot of backlog <laughs> um, and it means that they don't pile up unnecessarily. And then something that I'd like to read but I'm not adding to my official list. So this is just like putting it into the universe but I'm not putting it on the official list. I've read The Hobbit and the first book in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I would like to finish this but we'll see. We'll see. I currently have somewhere around 150 to 160 books on my physical TBR and obviously I'll end up getting some for Christmas. I've already got some parcels, thank you very much to everyone in advance. I am setting the goal that by 2359 
on the 31st of the 12th, 2023, my TBR needs to be below 100 books. Now given <laughs> the targets that I'm setting, I'm probably going to have to unhaul some books and I really just need to sit down and do that. I have so many books that I'm looking at that I've had on my TBR for years now and clearly there's something that's stopping me from picking them up. I either need to just get on with it and pick them up and read them or I need to establish the fact that they are leaving my life and that's fine. 100 books or less on my TBR at the end of 2023, this is the biggest challenge for me. That will be the most difficult one, that is the one that I am most likely to fail. Again, if I fail, nothing bad happens, it's fine, but that's what I'd like. I'd like to have it under a hundred books. That feels more manageable to me. And then we have the content goals. A lot of you use my dip right now, which is completely fair, so if you do, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you for more videos in 2023. But if you stick around, it's not too long, I promise. So I have three main content things that I do. YouTube, Instagram and I now recently in October started posting videos on TikTok because I got a phone that could handle TikTok. I was using an iPhone 6 before. I needed an upgrade. <laughs> As of filming I've got around 860 subscribers. Thank you all, all of you. I'd love to try by the end of 2023 to hit a thousand. Now if my growth keeps going in the trajectory that it's already on then I'll hit that with no issue but I can't guarantee that and this is kind of you know the motivation to keep making content that I enjoy um, and hopefully you guys do too. For TikTok, I don't know how to do this for TikTok because like I said I only started it in October. I had an account before then because it used to work on my phone in 2018 but I only started making videos in October and I'm already at like 960 follows on TikTok so I'm gonna aim for like 2000. I don't know if I'm aiming far too high or far too low. I have no clue. But I'm going to aim for 2000 and we'll see what happens. <laughs> and then for Bookstagram, I am on 1500 followers and I'd like to try and get that up to 2000 followers on Bookstagram. To do this, TikTok I'm still working out, obviously. Um, I mainly do stupid skits on there, so <laughs> if you want to see my stupid skits and lip syncing, TikTok. It's fun. I enjoy it. I really enjoy it. Instagram, I'm going to kind of evolve how I'm taking the photos. I have been taking the same style of photo for years now and I still do like that style but I want to kind of explore more ways that I can have different photo types and still be within that style. I need to explore more and see more what I can do so I want to play around with that and obviously engaging with everyone's content is always so so much fun. And then YouTube, I'm just going to keep making these stupid videos. <laughs> uh, I want to do some more uh, review videos, definitely. Those have been fun recently. And then also, I've done some really fun ones in the past that I like based around specific things. So like my mana skin video, um, and my Animal Crossing video. So I'd like to do some more of them. It's just that they require planning. <laughs> and uh, I haven't had to do that in a while. So I, I need to sit down and actually plan. And then I do have a certain video that if I do it right, uh, will be quite interesting. Bit nervous about that one also requires more research uh, and my laptop doesn't work right now. I'm editing everything on my partner's PC. <laughs> Bless him. I also don't need to buy a PC. <laughs> Maybe that could be on the list too. 2023, build my own PC. That's what I want to happen in 2023. I want to kind of hit the different thousand marks for all of my socials and then I want to read 50 books, have 100 books on my TBR, enjoy joining in with the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy readathon. I'm so excited for that. It is hosted by Hannah from Ladder M, so links down below. Go follow. It's gonna be so, so much fun. It is peak British humour, okay? This is what I know about this series. Peak British humour. So I just promise, just follow at least the first one. You need to come along. So yeah, please do come along and join us for that because I am so, so excited for it. If you'd like to see some more from me in 2023, then please do hit the subscribe button and I can try and get a little bit closer to that 1,000 subscriber count. <laughs> and all of my socials are linked down below in the description if you do want to follow me anywhere else. And I hope that you folks, whether you celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa or any other celebration that I'm missing, I hope you have a wonderful end of your 2022 and I hope that you're able to have some joy in what is in the Northern Hemisphere a freezing cold time. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!